Hey guys, it's Jackpot G Lars. That's Tom Hayes. T Hayes. He watches some of my videos and uh, we've been chatting it up. He's been telling me his prospect park stories, which is where we're at right now. In the olden days, like ten years ago to five years ago, he was pulling out silvers like like they were clad. And um, now it's a lot harder, but I mean you can still pull out Indian head pennies like clad here, but the silvers it's a, it's a challenge. And uh, I'd say we've been here for like 15 minutes, early Saturday morning, and um, already pulled out Indian head penny, which is awesome. It's pretty toast though. The uh, all the foot traffic kind of kills one side of these Indian head pennies. The back side's all right. You see the one cent, but um, we might get a date later. But the goal is silver today. Try to get a seated. He's gotten 14 seated dimes out of here. And I've gotten one seated half dime. We'll see if we can add to that. Hey guys, I was getting a really shallow nickel signal. And just got my first buffalo nickel of the day. I, it's, I might be able to get a date, but as of right now, not yet. Like most of them are. Blankers. But maybe I could almost see a date. And, uh, Tom got himself a wheat penny, so we got three old coins so far. I'll let you guys know if we get anything else. Guys, I got the buffalo nickel right there, and I was just showing Tom, and we confirmed it is an Indian head penny. I just found my second Indian head penny of the day. My record here is 10 in one day, and then my second best is 7, and then a 2, and then somehow 0 one time, actually. So we'll see if we could um, get to 10. Just got my first wheat scent of the day. Little focus. Wheat penny. Did you guys ever find anything else? Just got my first bit of jewelry. It's uh it's a fake little ring. It's as fake as it gets. It's got like little leaf designs. Faker. Let's see if we can find any more. Just got my second wheat penny of the day. You guys know if I found anything else. And this one was about an inch deep. I bet somebody found it before and then redropped it. And now I found it. We just uh, walked over towards this hill. He got a mercury dime on that hill the last time he was here. And um, I just got my third Indian head penny. And this one came out pretty nice. It's got that like teal green look to it. You can see like the letters. And um, I think it's going to be a uh, decent condition. It was pretty deep too. And by the way, Tom got his second wheat penny today. So we're starting to kick in action. Hopefully we'll get into some silver soon. Hey guys, um, this is kind of, a, this is amazing. It's, it's hilarious. So <laughs> um, I found a little tiny weird piece of sterling right there. It was like a little piece of a pin. And Tom was right there. So I wanted to go show it to him and I tossed it to him. And it fell in front of him and then we couldn't find it. So I was, <laughs> so I came over here and I was getting a really shallow signal and it was like right under the ground with my pin pointer. 50, 50 signal. It was a small piece of silver. So I wasn't sure what it was going to ring up. So the first thing I flick up is this ring. And the ring up is a nickel. So I'm like, oh, that's, that's gold, that's gold, that's gold, that's gold. Tom was like, wow. And guys, I, I believe it's platinum. It says PT950. That's one of the bucket lists. I've never found... A platinum ring before that's insane and it's like a man's wedding band and Joe just texted me that he found a seated dime wherever he is and wherever woods he is so it's just like wow <laughs> Tom was saying they set up volleyball and that's right here so we're gonna kill this area see if we can find anything else oh my gosh and while this all this is going on, guys, I still have to find that little piece of silver. I almost just forgot about it, but honestly, right now, it feels like nothing. But I will go find that. Guys, I literally dropped that little tiny silver piece right there, and I've gotten like, like all somewhere in here, and I got the gold, the platinum ring, and now I got another Indian head penny. This one ring up like a nickel. I, was, I actually got a pull tab, but I actually fished out with my pin pointer. It's my fourth Indian head penny of the day. This one's pretty toast. But I'll clean it up at home, see if we can find some more. 
Guys, I finally found it. it took me like 10, 15 minutes, but I got that little piece of silver. It was like harder to find on the surface than buried six inches. But I'll show you where it says sterling. It says sterling on there. Might be upside down, but it does say sterling. That's hard to show you guys. But that is a little piece of silver and it's got that pretty stuff on it. I don't know what that is, but it looks pretty cool. It's a pin. Silver and platinum and Indian head pennies so far. Let you guys know if we find anything else. Just got my third wheat penny of the day. This one was easy to tell. Ramp 76, 77. Look how clean that side is. It almost looks like there's another coin attached to it. So I'm going to double check and see. Hey guys. I just got another wheat penny. I believe that's my fourth wheat penny of the day. Four Indian head pennies, four wheat pennies, and a buffalo nickel. Coin wise, old coin wise. Let you guys know if we get anything else. Hey guys, I was just showing Tom my uh, fifth Indian head penny. He was able to make out 1895 on it. That is. It's kind of hard to see right now, but it says 1895, believe me. I'll show you guys at home. Yep, you can see it barely, 1895. And uh, he's got himself five wheat pennies around that so far. Uh, he's got a couple on this hill. And uh, I'll let you guys know if you get anything else. Guys, Tom just got another couple wheat pennies, like wheat penny hill right over here. I just got two. Um, I was just showing some people, so I didn't videotape the last one. And then I was also showing them this one too. This one's a little older, but it's hard to tell what it is. But it's a wheat penny. I think that's my fifth or sixth of the day. Pretty nice. Let's see if we can find some more. Hey guys, we just moved locations and um, we just bumped into a couple of metal detectorists and it was actually Dig and Duo. Um, that was the first time I met him. Um, we're sub to each other, we see some of each other's videos. But it was cool to meet him and he's with his daughter. He just showed me an awesome two cent coin he found and his daughter found. In a, a beautiful seated dime, beautiful barber dime, and she just got a beautiful Indian head penny. So, I mean, they're probably gonna make an amazing video, and um, we're on on track for making an, another amazing video. And um, just got this big like chain thingy. I moved around this like big house. He said he watched some guy find like loads of seeds all around this little area. So we're gonna try this little spot out. That guy's tired over there, I guess. Hello. Right. Oh yeah, here's a chain thingy. Just fake. Let you guys know if we find anything else. Guys, I just showed Tom my best Indian head penny of the day. And um, Digging Duo's daughter was showing us her Indian head penny she found. And it was amazing. And we're like, how? Out of this spot. But this part of the park, the coins just come out much cleaner. Look at that. Now the Indian head pennies are going to be a lot of fun to find. I mean, they were fun, but now they're going to be, like, tons of fun if they come out this clean. 1891. I'll let you guys know if we find anything else. I'll just take a video, honestly. Guys, wait, what's your name again? My name's Joe. Joe, so, um... The famous Joe. Famous Joe. Indian head Joe, they call me. Indian, they should call you a lot more than that. I'll tell you. <laughs> so, we thought, like, getting a whole bunch of Indian head pennies, one silver out of this place is good. How much silvers do you have today? 20 silvers, about 30 Indians, a large cent. A seated. large cent. Look at those Shield nickel. Shit. He's got it all. Skeleton fatties. keys, fatties, buttons. This is a flying eagle in there too somewhere. Flying Could eagle? there today? Yep. Flying eagle's like nothing to him. Oh. How deep was that large cent? Dude, this, this kid, like 10 man. inches. It sounded like a high conductor. I said to my friend, I think I got a seated done. And he's like... Oh, dig it up, and it was a hard set. It just wow. sounded, you know. Hey guys, I just got my seventh Indian head penny of the day, and this guy over here, since I last showed you a video of him, he found a barber dime and three Indian head pennies. So, um, yeah, he is killing it. And he just told me that he's like, he knows everything that goes on here and um, what everybody finds and stuff. He, um, he said no one finds anything here with Garrett's. So I might have to get a mine lab, but... Um, that's good that I got the. I'm doing the best I can with a Garrett, but I might have to get a. He's using the E-Track, which I mean, he's a. He says he, he masters every detector though. He could just find 20 silvers with any detector, and I don't doubt him. He's got a lot of experience. 
he's been pounding this part for a while. All right, guys. I'll let you guys know if we find anything else. I don't even know if I showed you the Indian head penny. But this is my Indian head penny, my seventh. It's crusty. I'll let you guys know if we find anything else. Hey, guys. I just got uh, Indian head penny number eight. And focus. There we go. So this guy, he got a signal and he goes, this is silver. And I'm like, how do you know? And I go check it. He lets me check it. And it's exactly the same as all the Indian head penny signals I've been getting from me. And he's like, no, 100% silver. He digs it up. It's a mercury dime. And I'm just like, wow. Hey, guys. I just got my ninth Indian head penny. One more and we tie uh, the record. Still no silver coins. We did get that little bit of silver. And um, Tom just got himself. His first Indian head penny. He's like nine or ten wheat pennies, something like that. Bunch of wheat pennies, Indian head penny. Still trying to find a silver coin like that kid, Joe. Did you guys know if we find anything else? Guys, last video of the night. <laughs> Finally. Silver. Hey, hey, a war nickel. <laughs> Deepest war nickel I ever found, and the dirtiest, but it's silver. 35%. Hey, <laughs> it's 1942 to 1945. You know, I'll take it. Last signal of the day, at least it's a little bit of silver. And you got two Indian head pennies like the last 10 minutes. Yeah. Big deal. Yup. Here are the finds from Prospect Park. I'm probably going to be going there a lot this year. I'm just waiting for my permit to come in any day now. Um, this is all the trash. A lot of trash in Prospect Park. They kind of like it because it hides the treasures. So yeah, if anybody wants to meet up and go to Prospect Park, just leave a comment. And we can meet up. And me and, me and Tom are definitely going to go again. Multiple times. He's found so many silver coins there over the years and... Um, there's still a lot left. A lot of Indian head pennies, that's for sure. I got, uh, this is like a, I think an old dog, like, chain, I think. Possibly. Um, here's a fake ring. It's got, like, leaves. 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 Um, old dog tag, 1954. Old bullet key. This is interesting. I don't know what it is. Um, 843 and clad. This is a pretty cool relic. It's an old whistle and it actually works. If you like put your finger here and then like blow into it. I'm not going to show you guys. It'll be so loud. Um, oh, here's like a fake play dime. Um, eight Indian head pennies. I feel like every time I go there, I always come home with less Indian head pennies than I think I found. But I got eight. And they kind of came in, came out in good condition by the uh, tennis house. This is the oldest one, 1864. This one came out in best in the best condition out of all of them, I think, 1878. It's a pretty decent year. Eighteen eighty three. This one's a little rough. 1886. Not too bad. The back's kind of nice. 1891. This one is nice. Almost as good as the 1878 one. Could be better. 1900. Nineteen oh four. I thought that was nineteen oh one for a while, but nineteen oh four and nineteen oh five. And Tom found two Indian head pennies, uh, eighteen ninety four and nineteen oh five, and he found a like a dozen wheat pennies, um, like four in the teens. He said, "I got a bunch of old ones." Nineteen ten. This one's like a hard to tell, but it might be nineteen ten. 
This was 1911, 1912. Hard to tell, but it's actually 1914. Unfortunately, there's no D. It's really slick. This one is a 1927. Or 1917, 1917, you can see that. 19, that one's 1927. I don't know what that year is. And then these are the 40s, I remember now. And this, oh yeah, I got a buffalo nickel. Couldn't get the year, but it was like close. You could almost like possibly see it, but I couldn't figure it out. Buffalo nickel. And then here's my silver coin. Compared to that kid's 20 silver coins. And I'm, I'm going to have to save up for a Mine Lab E track. Because that kid was killing the silver coins. I got a little piece of sterling. I love this piece because it led to greatness. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Look at that design. Awesome piece of sterling. Amazing circumstances that led to finding this. Tom watched it live. Platinum, my first platinum ring. Beautiful platinum. I think it said there's, for every um, platinum mine, there's 10 gold mines. So platinum's rare. I couldn't believe it. 53 right under the surface. Beautiful platinum wedding band for a man too. Big man's wedding band's awesome. So, pretty awesome day. Um, leave a comment if you want to meet up and go to Prospect Park, because I'm going to be going there often as soon as my permit comes in. So, I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting. Peace!